Hi there, Galen here, design team member for Unity Stamp Company. Today I'm showing assorted tags that are easy to do, and I'm showing how I like to make tags and have lots of prep ready before I do it. I'm using Unity Stamp Company's kit called Joy and Things. It's by Lisa Glanz. It's a stamp set. And it has all these darling little images. I love it. It's got some sentiments and images. And some are small, which is great for tag making and creating little scenes. So I stamped some of them in black right onto pattern, the pattern paper, which is from Crafty Seasons Paper Pack by Unity. And some I stamped on white cardstock and just paper pieced or cut out without adding any colors and then cut those uh, stamped, stamped images out um, and added them right to the tags in white. So I like to use multimedia matte for some of the glue. I use tweezers. I like to um, have all of my twine and hemp twine, uh, whatever I'm going to use to tie with. I like to have all of those cut and sized just right. I like to have all of my paper cut and have my tape ready, advanced tape glider by Scotch and my double-sided tape. I die cut the tags, but you can use punches. You can use an electronic cutting machine. Um, in this case, I used my favorite things, stitched mini scalloped ovals and tag builder dies. I, um, you know, you don't have to use dies. You can use, um, punches or anything you have for that. But I happen to have these layered dies and I like that because I can uh, variegate the colors. Um, and so I decided to um, layer the smaller section on top of the larger section in different different colors, alternating between white cardstock and the, the Unity paper called Crafty Seasons. And I cut extra pieces like um, and just assorted punches and, and dies that I had in stars and hearts and uh, as you know adhered those with with glue as well. So I add just double double sided foam tape to the top layer. It gives it a little dimension. It's great for gift giving. It um, it's handmade, but it still looks nice and classy and it has uh, some dimension to it. So I just before I add glue, I just like to lay out wherever I want to to lay out the little pieces of extra accents like stars and hearts. And I just lay them around where I think I want to glue them on. And then I go ahead and add the multimedia matte glue, just a dot between each one of those and just add a few extra accents. It's, it's fun. It's not necessary, but it's just, it's quick and easy if you have it all together and ready to go. So I kept the colors craft in this case because wrapping paper is uh, all different. You never know what kind of uh, wrapping we're actually going to use for our gifts. So craft is a nice neutral color to go with. That or, you know, just white background with craft accents or craft background with white accents. And black, of course, goes with it. I use uh, Gina K Designs uh, Jet Black Amalgam Ink and or Ranger Archival Ink a lot of times. Uh, you can emboss these, but I chose not to. I just chose regular stamping and paper piecing. There you have it. I hope you like this. I'd love to see what you come up with with tags for the holidays. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.